it's time for more Free Run Beyond <laughs> Journeys End. Today we're doing episode 18. Um, last time, what happened last time? I remember our boy left, Sain. I believe that's his name, right? He left. Um, and then we, uh, what else did we do? Because <laughs> I remember the fight that Stark and Fern had, for sure. Um, and then I have themes about being a child slash being an adult. Um, because I remember Fern was sick. That's the thing. That was the main thing, is that Fern was sick during the episode. And, uh, and now she's better, and we went back on our journey, and I think we're going towards the exam. In fact, I see that the title of this episode is called First Class... F Hello? First Class Mage Exam. So, um, yeah, we're, we're starting... Well, we're probably not doing the exam today, but we might be learning about the exam today and getting there. And I'm really excited for that, because... I think this is going to be a cool arc. It just sounds like it's going to be a cool arc. Um, it's something I'm very much looking forward to. So, um, yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into this. Uh, please make sure to support this video and this channel if you haven't already. Um, it really helps me out. I'm a small channel, so um, every little bit counts. Liking, commenting, subscribing. And my Patreon account is in the description below if you want the full-length versions of these reactions or early access exclusive videos. There's so much stuff over there for both this channel and the Gent Watchers One Piece channel. So, let's jump into Free Run Beyond Journey's and episode 18. This is only the second time I've heard this OP. I want to enjoy it. I love the vibe of this OP. First class mage exam. Mm-hmm. Sounds great. True. Could be you, Fern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do it, Fern. Oh, believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Combat test sounds cool. Come on, give me a tournament arc. Yeah. <laughs> you liked being called an old lady by saying when he was into it. Oh my god, that's cute. <laughs> yes, because of Fern. <laughs> Fern's body. Mm, Eleven times. Nice. I think you saw Fern's eyes going dilating a bit there. Like she was interested. Hmm. <laughs> It seems like a good introduction to this character. Oh shit! Oh shit! Amazing. He certainly fights like a monk. Like he fights like a D and D monk, you know. Ubel. Ubel. Yeah, her eyes definitely scream killer. <laughs> Torn up? Was that Yubel? Yubel's eyes are very cool. Mm. What a cool guy. What a cool guy. Damn. I thought Craft might stay in this arc, but I think that was all we're gonna see of him. Wow, you're cute. Mm. Oh shit! Oh my god, that's actually high stakes! Yep, so don't fail. 
それ見せてもらってもいいかな It's special? She wanted to, but she can't. Unless she can? Nice! Special exception? Yeah, explain what it, what it is, though. It was still rusty back then? <laughs> He's always flattering her. I like how the necklace is around her hair right now. <laughs> that didn't really explain the necklace. Aww. Hearing the same things from your current party. Aww. <laughs> Aww. 45 first class, okay. Damn! Yeah, I guess people are mages. Shotgun has nothing to do right now. He's just, he's just sleeping. Aww. <laughs> Gonna suffocate her. Santa Claus! Are we already at the exam? Holy shit! Yes! Werble? Denkin? Fern? Is that her name? I'm kidding. <laughs> Yep, you bet, of course. That's like Hisuka. <laughs> Hisuka did the same thing. Killed someone in the hunter's exam. That's the only reason he didn't pass it. Yeah, and you don't even know she's expressing it. Okay. Interesting. That's really cool. Why doesn't the bracelet shrink to fit your uh, brace your wrist though? Are you gonna burn Yubel's team? Oh. Oh no. Oh my god. The fuck is going on? <laughs> oh no, ferns with you, Bell. She's too pure to be with you, Belle. <laughs> you have to catch one? Hmm? Oh my god. Free to do as you wish? Oh no, so they can fight each other? But why would they? Oh, to get one off each other? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Come on, Freerin. Wow, she's raising her voice a little bit. Lavine. And Kane. Oh, cool. Yeah, still fighting, yep, of course. Freerin, this is good practice for you. <laughs> Smart. She's not... She's not quite there yet. She needs some more practice being... A leader. Hmm? Is there something of high manner in the skies? Oh, good. Okay. Does it have to be alive? I forgot to... <laughs> Can you just shoot it? Ooh. Oh, shit! Whoa! That's an impressive amount of control. Oh! 
The fuck just happened? Oh my god. So they work well together. Yeah. They act like sisters. Come on, Freya, you have to break the tie. Just observe. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Just eating while they fight. I like how every time they fight, they have to like wrestle. Is it hitting the barrier? Oh! What the fuck? I thought her head would have got chopped off there. Jeez. What is this? It's like a creepy Ghibli creature. Oh. <laughs> to be fair, she actually kind of was watching this guy. She looked up at the barrier. No, they just fight. Mm, she makes up for your weaknesses. <laughs> Aww, I understand that. No, give her some positive affirmation. <laughs> She's cute as hell. Kane, I love her. You're hardworking. <laughs> oh my god, this is adorable. <laughs> That's so adorable. Oh? No! Man, I love that. I loved that episode. It, that was genuinely one of my favorite episodes of, of the show so far. Like, if we're thinking of absolute favorite episodes... I think this is like top three, genuinely, because it is like getting into an arc that I think is going to be really fun. It introduced characters that I think look great. You know something f fun about this series? Like, I really enjoy the cute girls doing cute things genre. Um, and so like there's, you know, a, a ton of shows in that genre. Um, you know, you got stuff like K-On and like K-On and Bochi the Rock, like, you know, there's music, anime, bang dream, stuff like that. Um, but then you also have stuff like, um, uh, New Game, you know, you have stuff like, uh, I'm trying to think of ones off the top of my head. Um, what's the Antarctica one called? Um, uh, did something, <laughs> the edge of the world. What's it called? I can't remember. Um, but anyway, I think I think some people know what I'm talking about. Um, so the cute girls doing cute things genre is a great genre. I really like it. You know, it, it's basically if you don't know, um, it is a an, a genre of anime that is exactly how it sounds. It's it's basically the entire concept is you take a bunch of cute girls and you get them to do some sort of activity. Um, a lot of the time it tends to be a music anime and it's them forming a band, but there's lots of other stuff. Them playing sports, them doing some sort of cool activity together. Um, and this series is like the, the best parts of cute girls doing cute things genre with also some other cool stuff involved, you know? So it's like, like the reason I say that is because there are a lot of like female cast members and most and like female mages especially in this show it feels like about 75 percent of the of the series is female characters which i personally like because i i uh i like female characters uh, a lot <laughs> more often than i like male characters 
Um, and that's the that's kind of part of the appeal of the cute girls doing cute things genre as well is that normally in that genre it's like 95% women you know and then there's only 5% that like if even that there are some series where you, there's not there's not a man in the universe it feels like um, or sometimes you know it's like the, you can literally name on one hand like in the Bang Dream girls band party franchise the the amount of men we've seen Ah, it's less than five. I feel like, um, especially if we get down to named men, and then if we get down to like voice and named men, no way. Like it's got to be like two at most. Um, so I, uh, so I like the genre, but also I do like male characters, and I do want there to be some interesting male characters as well. This series has that. It's got a majority female uh, characters and really interesting, fun, diverse, nice, cute, cool females. Um, and then there's also characters like Stark and um, what's Himmel, and uh, I can't remember the um, dwarf's name um, off the top of my head. But, and like Craft the Monk, you know, and like um, the priest, Haita. So, like, we've got some, uh, we got a lot of cool male characters and a lot of good female characters, especially now we see, you know, obviously we have Freeman and Fern, but we have Yubel and uh, La Lawin and Kane, um, who all seem awesome. I do really like Yubel. I like her design, I like the sound of her voice actress so far, um, I liked the way they were animating her, like the thing where she like, there were people behind her and she like, instead of turning to them, she sat down on a rock and like leaned back to them, that's, that's a really like nice little character trait, it just like, I already got an idea of her character from one action, which I feel like this show is quite good at, like the actions of the characters feel like they give so much personality, you know, they're not just standing around a lot of the time, that, you know, even when they're sitting around talking, the characters will be lying on each other or, or leaning or playing with something or stretching or doing some some sort of action that makes them feel more alive you know um but i like you bell i like her design but i'm worried because they set up how she's pretty harsh and then you're putting her with like little goody two shoes fern like i'm i'm worried how that's gonna go but we didn't even focus on it this episode we focused completely on free ren and her little party um, which I'm glad with, because I like her little party, Louine and Kane, they're, they're so cute. I love Kane. Kane is exactly my type of character, like, the sort of, like, <laughs> the sort of, she's, like, adorable, but sort of pouty, and, um, and, like, frustrated, and she, I, I think, can have a short temper, but, I mean, mostly when, um, when Louine's there. But I also, like, understand what she's saying when she's like, I work better with positive affirmation and she's just like crouched there going like, tell me strengths about myself. <laughs> it's really, that's really cute because that's the, totally the thing I would do if I was like really scared about that situation. I'm really frustrated. I'm like, you have to compliment me if you want me to do this. <laughs> um, but I, I loved that. I thought it was adorable. Um, I thought that you have a cute smile moment is is very uh, sweet, even though obviously she was like, what the? Ew. <laughs> but it was, that was very cute. Um, and I mean, hopefully this will let Freerun like uh, brush up on her Tudor skills. Because like, the thing is with, like she's supposed to be teaching Fern and she is like teaching Fern uh, over time. But like she's, she strays away from it quite often and she doesn't know how to mediate problems very well um so we kind of i feel like she needs this like two people who fight a lot if she can like mediate between them a lot better i mean they they tend to work those fights out themselves they've been doing it's just bickering you know they as i said they're like sisters sisters like you know siblings will tend to fight a lot but then it'll be very easy for them to to make up because they you know it's it's like almost like it's nothing personal so um so i like they're gonna be fine but i feel like free Rin should take this opportunity to learn how to mediate learn how to to teach these girls uh better but um yeah 
I, I'm really excited. I wonder if in this arc, Fern is going to be able to get an A-class certification. It's oh, first class, I guess it's called. Um, that would be really cool. Now, the thing is, it's all on nothing, right? Like she, because she's a third class mage. This is the first class exam. So you either pass or fail, right? You can't just do, you can't just do really well and get a second class certification. Like you have to go and take the second class exam to do that, I would imagine. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe like later they will reveal like, oh no, we, like if you take the higher version of the exam and do like, and get really close to passing, we give you a lower certification. Maybe that is something that can happen. Because if that can happen, I think Fern gets second class and, and uh, Freerun gets first class for now. Um, but if that can't happen, I feel like they both get first class. Like just from a story perspective, I feel like that would be um, a very cool thing to happen. But we'll see. Um, thank you so much for joining me for this episode. I love this arc so far. I can't wait for more. Make sure to support the video and the channel as best you can, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And my Patreon account is in the description below for full-length early access and exclusive videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.